You really seem to kind of love the UK and love London. Like where, where does that stem from? What's that all about? Obviously, it stemmed from um, 2017. Uh, well, actually, it stemmed from London Olympics. You know, just seeing it and wanting to be be a part of it, you know, that London crowd and just like how exuberating it was and I love London, they love um, Jamaicans and um, have a huge fan base here and then coming in 2017 and winning, just, you know, putting that icing on the cake and, you know, everything was just fun, like the people was warm, it was welcoming and, you know, it was just, it was great, it was great all around, I love it here. What do you like about the city and how long have you been here so far this week? Yeah, first of all, the food, the food is good, London is, you know, a lot of good food and they have a lot of Jamaican restaurants around that I order from. Um, occasionally. Um, like I say, it's just like, it's a little chilly, but I'm used to the chill because I lived in two states that was very cold, so I'm used to that, so that don't phase me one bit. Um, but it's just something about the London crowd. It's just something about the London ear that gets me, you know, that I appreciate so much. And uh, it appreciates me too, I'm sure, because it gave me a win here. I needed to be at this meet. I honestly was on the, you know, I was nursing a little injury and I, was not, I wasn't going to come. I was contemplating whether I should come here or not. But coming here just made it, it, it's full circle. You know, it just reminded me going and getting in the same room. It really reminded me of why I'm doing what I'm doing. You know, it was a, it's a full circle moment for me. I'm really happy I came. That's why I said this place is so special. It's really special. I'm intrigued. Was the praying before or after winning in 2017? Before. <laughs> yeah, before. It was definitely before. Um, all the days before. You know, we prayed a little bit after, but it was not in the room. Um, but we were very grateful. It was, a, um, like I said, it was a lot of emotions leading up to that, that, um, that happened in that room. You know, Usain Bolt not winning and, you know, just remember how sad I was. And I had a little few stuff leading up into the championships and how nervous I was. My mom was just there to comfort me through it because, you know, the, whole, the pressure was, there was a lot of pressure on me. Um, you, um, Elaine didn't win that year, Usain didn't win, and the whole country was looking toward for, um, for me to win. And I remember just crying in my mom's bosom. Ain't nothing like a mom's bosom, huh? But I was crying and it's like, just, I was just overcome with a lot of pressure. And she helped me a lot. So when I walked in the room, it's just, it just, I really broke down in tears, man. I, I couldn't help it because it was, it, was, it, was, it was something special. And do you think you've got any kind of specific memories of the stadium and, and the track that are going to come back to you this weekend? Oh, yeah. I can remember. I, all my championships, I remember vaguely. I can walk you through every single day because that's how I don't take it for granted. Like when I'm at a major championship, I'm in it and I'm in it 100 percent, you know, and I can literally when I go there, I'm going to remember everything, how everything panned out. I can tell I can walk you through every single day and what I did and how the feeling I had and all that. So I'm, I know I'm, that's going to hit me when I go to the track today. And you mentioned you got some family around in London. Do you yes, they're going to be around this weekend. I do. Well? I told one of my aunts that came to my um, funeral. I met. I just met some of my family members that came to my aunt's funeral this year, um, and I didn't know that I had such uh, a huge family here. Um, I told them about it. They said they're going to try and make it. I'm not sure. We haven't confirmed it, but hopefully they get to come and watch me. Everybody has family in London. I know. So everybody has. That's it's a thing too. Like London is like, I guess the backbone. <laughs> Uh, and what do you make of your season so far? How are you feeling about your form and how you're running? It's been good. You know, I started out good and then honestly I was on an uphill climb and then life happened in the middle of it and I felt like I just was going, uh, hilt, everything flipped and I was going downhill a little bit. But I knew I just needed to just like, you know, refocus. And, but now we are rerouted and we're back on, back on track. You know, just like I said, life happened and I just needed to take some time to just feel and heal. Um, and just, you know, just that's what, that's what the season's about. That's, my seasons typically go that way. It's so crazy. Like, I always started good, and then something happened in the middle of the season. I always fall and break my neck over. <laughs> There's some always happen. And, but it just, it just reminds me of the journey and just reminds me that it's a process. You know, you just have to be very graceful with the process, the high, you know, grateful with the highs and the lows because it's going to happen. Never guaranteed, like, a perfect career or a perfect season. So I embrace it all. But I know that... I'm gonna put it together when it matters. So I'm, that's why I'm, you know, just being patient, working very hard, not taking it for granted, going through these meets gracefully, and just when it worlds come, I just do what I have to do. At least it'll always be entertaining. It's never gonna be boring. Like never gonna be boring. There's never. That's not. There's. That's not even a word in my vocabulary. Like nothing's boring when it comes to Omar McLeod at all. So gonna have a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, and how do you feel about the, the timing of this Diamond League event and, and obviously the worlds aren't too far away? Yeah. Um, do you think that's gonna raise the level of competition here? Absolutely. Like first of all, all Diamond Leagues. Second of all, it's London Diamond League. You know what I mean? So there's a lot of expectations. There are a lot of some of the best athletes in the world here. And this is what I love about these meets is like you can use these meets to literally get in shape just because of the field. The people who are here, the competitiveness and all that. So um, it's, it's perfect. It's perfect timing. Um, 
a lot of the USA athletes are not here, which is a bummer because of their trials and a lot on um, some other countries too. But regardless, you know, there is a lot of different athletes here. Who are going to put on a show and make it happen and make it exciting. What are you most looking forward to about the weekend? Um, I'm looking forward to competing, going out there and trying to have another win in this stadium. It's been good to me so far. I've won all the rounds in London and I'm trying to, you know, keep that winning streak going. But most of all, I'm just here to, I just want to have fun and just to bring back that feel. You know, like I said, it's just something about the London air it just makes you want to do a good. And then the fans, they're so appreciative of the athletes and it makes you want to go out there and put on a show for them. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to that.